what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is prophet Ene. i'm a relationship coach and in today's video i'll be reacting to some videos where women still don't get it <laughs> but anyway do well to subscribe if you have not done so turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified the next time i upload a video and do well to like this video if you enjoy my commentary and the video itself so that youtube will promote this video anyway sure let's watch you're a successful woman you, you own your own house you've got a nice car why do men find that so intimidating generally speaking men don't find the success of successful women intimidating usually it is the energy that she carries that for most men just find quite masculine because if you're going to be a successful person in any industry you have to be quite dominant you have to be quite alpha you have to be quite a go-getter because no one's just gonna say hey come and take the top position so anyone who's successful to become successful they have to be quite in their masculine what i found is that they sit in that masculine energy from their professional world work in their romantic life you're going to attract the feminine men because the masculine attracts the feminine and the feminine attracts the masculine you're going to attract guys who they're not on their shit they look to you for guidance they look to you to hold fame they look to you to sort the plan generally i would say that's the case now there is an element a few guys might be intimidated by the level that you're at and i think a big reason of that is because if they feel that they can't provide that for you the level that you're at they feel that you will never choose them because we hear a lot of time women want a guy on their level or above if they're like oh well i'm not on her level why would i even try and i don't even think it's like an intimidation thing it's kind of like if this job position requires me to do 10 years experience yeah. and i've only got one year what's the point of me applying yeah. it's not that they're intimidated by it they just think i don't have a chance so what's the point in trying God, it's so hard to date in your 30s <laughs> yeah i like the way this guy put this very much because it makes a lot of sense i think yeah that's that's one thing i think some ladies still don't understand I'll, I'll admit, I'll technically admit the percentage of men who might feel intimidated, but then it's not like the percentage who don't feel intimidated are much more because that's the thing. Women don't get it sometimes. Most times it's not about your money because that's what they, you know, all this whole, I'm an independent woman. I make my own money now. Those things are, they are, they are, they, they, they give them like a bragging rights. Like, yeah, I'm masculine now and I can provide for myself. I can do this. But then what you don't understand is that what you're actually doing is that you're adulting. That's, that's basically what, oh, that's why what, what is I'm um, strong, independent woman. You're basically adulting. You're doing what adults do. You are doing what people that are adults do. It's only kids that are like being provided for like, they don't work, they don't do anything. They provide for them, their parents. But the moment you become an adult, you're supposed to get a job. You're supposed to start working. You're supposed to have a life. That's what adults do. So all this, I'm an independent woman and all this kind of stuff. And, in, and feminism or all those kind of, kind of comes into play now and pushes this thing to the extreme where they start to feel like, well, I'm now a boss chick, I'm not a boss lady. But the truth is that men are not actually necessarily looking for boss chick and boss lady. I, I wrote the, um, previously, um, the other day on my Facebook page that the more money you make as a woman, the more successful you become as a woman the less chances you will have to attract or to find a partner in this day and age. And the reason is not because men don't want you or like, it's not like men don't want to deal with you because you have money. The problem is that most women, first of all, this is the first reason, most women want men that are either equal to them or above them. And the percentage of guys that are within that level most times are not that much. Like, the percentage of guys good guys that will treat you well that will help you like grow together with you and other stuff they are not up there yet there might be those of them there but they are very few but then we have another percentage of guys who are there well they are either married they are either not ready to date anymore because what's the point of dating or getting married when if you get a divorce, you share the hormone. So they are scared of all those things. Today, some women, they don't want to sign print up and all those. That's how this conversation is coming up. Today, like some of these guys, they are just not it. They are just want to have sex, sleep with any woman and all those kind of stuff. Because now they feel like, yeah, I have the money. I have a bragging right too. So I can sleep with anybody I want. So you see how this is going up. And you as a lady, you're rich, you're there. You don't want to date any guy that is that is less than you financially. You want the one up there you are equal to you so you see how this limits your chances of even being with anybody because you have also shrinked your circle of the possibility of people you can actually be with now the second reason why this is a problem for women is because there is something money does to women in this generation <laughs> there's something money does to women in this generation and it's weird it kind of alters their character in a bad way 
that's the thing. It kind of alters their character in a bad way. Not all of them, but some of them, a good number of them, the money alters that character in a bad way in the sense that when they now have the money, they start speaking to these men anyhow. They start like talking, yeah, I have money now. So it's more of like, we are equal now. We are equals. So what's the point of me respecting you? What's the point of me giving you that respect you deserve as a man or you desire as a man? So you see the problem and the and that's the challenge most of the women that are boss chick have today not necessarily because you have money but it's what the money is doing to you i, I don't think there's any lady out there who is rich and still very submissive that will have issue finding a man if you're rich and you have a good character you know how to cut out your mind take care of your men and not allow your money influence you then it's it, you won't have an issue so i'm saying all this to draw this final point from it that ladies it's not about the money it's about your character that's the thing so men avoid such women they don't feel intimidated necessarily like the larger number they don't feel intimidated necessarily most of them are just avoiding issue ahead of time because of the character issue that is developed when a lady has money but if you're a lady and you have money then you're on a good track because you meet that man you love them and that man will love you, cater to the man's need, the man caters to your need. Both of you are growing together and enjoying life together because you are because you are a lady that has good character. But if you don't have a good character, it's a problem. So that's the thing. So it's not like men are intimidated. It's that some of you ladies have bad characters when you have money. You are a boss chick. Some of that sometimes it's not even bad character in that sense. It's just that you have assumed a masculine nature, like the guy said, masculine nature that you feel like, yeah, I have to be a boss and all those kind of stuff. And you don't know how to tone that down when you are with a man because men are not attracted to masculine energy. That's why even if you see this lesbian and gay kind of situation there's always the one that looks like the man and there's always the man that that looks like the woman so the one that you hardly see sometimes where you see two of them they are like very masculine in the nature no there's one that is like masculine and there's one that is feminine in a way so you see you see how that works in that their own spectrum or whatever but then when you come to this normal man and female relationship if you're masculine as a woman it doesn't really feel very much attractive because the man is always looking for that softness that nature in that caring kind of situation and all those things so if you do that it makes it easy for you to actually attract a man and to keep a man all right guys that's all i have for you today and i hope you enjoyed it and i want to remind you to subscribe like share so that youtube will promote this video and do well to check out this video here and also check this one out so that you will keep learning and keep enjoying and keep being aware of what's happening in the world all right guys see you in the next video bye